Now, a special presentation from WPRI 12. Coming to you in high definition, this is the CVS Caremark Charity Classic Preview Show. We are just days away from another exciting year of the prestigious CVS Caremark Charity Classic featuring elite golfers from both the PGA, Champions Tours, and LPGA Tour. Once again, they'll be hitting the links here at the picturesque Rhode Island Country Club in Barrington. This year, the CVS Caremark Charity Classic is set for June 23rd and 24th. Since its inception in 1999, the tournament has raised more than $17 million for local nonprofits. That's hundreds of programs right here in Rhode Island and southeastern New England that serve children, families, and people in transition. Hello, everybody. I'm Yanni Caracas. And I'm Patrick Little, WPRI 12 and Fox Providence. Once again, proud to be media sponsors of the 2014 CVS Caremark Charity Classic, an event that's been going strong here in Barrington since 1999. Patrick, once again, tournament hosts Brad Faxon and Billy Andrade have rounded out a terrific field, some newcomers, and of course, some familiar faces. It should be a terrific couple days of golf. Let's take a look at the field. Once again, the field at the CVS Caremark Charity Classic does not disappoint, boasting some of the top players in the PGA, LPGA, and Champions Tours. How's this for some quality golf? Two of the top three players in the FedEx Cup standings will be in Barrington, and four in total who rank in the top 20 golfers in the world. Let's start with the defending champions. Bo Van Pelt and Steve Stricker team up again, and they return to Rhode Island Country Club with a piece of history in their back pocket. The two set a tournament record in 2013 for the lowest winning score in the tournament's 15-year history with a 25 under par this in just 36 holes. Stricker is currently a top 20 player in the world with 12 PGA Tour victories under his belt. Another star-studded group includes the pairing of Matt Kuchar and Zach Johnson. Johnson, back at the CVS Caremark Charity Classic for a fourth time now, was the co-champion in 2011 with Kuchar. Johnson is no stranger to winning tournaments with 11 PGA Tour wins in a 2007 green jacket in his closet. Johnson is top 15 in the FedEx Cup standings and won the 2014 Hyundai Tournament of Champions in January. Playing partner Matt Kuchar has been in the top five in the FedEx Cup standings most of the year. His win at the RBC Heritage, along with nine top 10 finishes, has him among the hottest golfers in the country. Expect his solid play to continue at the Classic. Jason Duffner will be making his debut in the tournament, but the 2013 PGA Championship winner is certainly well known amongst golf fans. When he isn't Duffnering, the major champion is always in contention and currently is top 20 in the world. Joining him at Rhode Island Country Club is Hunter Mahan, another well known American golfer with five PGA Tour wins under his belt. If you want some young talent coming up the ranks, look no further than the group of Russell Henley and Harris English. English, at just 24 years old, already has a win on the tour this year in six other top tens, while the 25-year-old Henley is coming off a Honda Classic victory and is back for a second year in a row. Peter Jacobson back for his 16th appearance. Jacobson has yet to miss the tournament and has an accomplished resume. Jacobson will team with Jimmy Walker, the number one player in the FedEx Cup standing, who has a tournament high three tour victories already this season, winning at Pebble Beach, the Sony Open, and the Fries.com Open. How about some ladies? Julie Inkster returns for the seventh time and as a returning winner brings instant credibility to the tournament as does Morgan Pressel, her partner who won this thing in 2012 and knows how this course suits her game. At just 19, Lexi Thompson may be the youngest player in the field, but her star is rising already with a major win. She'll be joined by a very talented Billy Horschel, making this one of the most exciting male-female pairings. Jonas Blix tied for second at this year's Masters. He'll join Suzanne Pedersen for another male-female group. Pedersen is a two-time LPGA major champion. Finally, how can we forget the hosts? Brad Faxon, of course, is back for the 16th year and still looking for his first win at his home course in this tournament. While he balances hosting duties, he'll rely on partner Eric Compton to help out. Compton excels on the tour despite playing with a transplanted heart. 
co-host Billy Andrade is, you guessed it, back for a 16th year. Now a member of the Champions Tour, Andrade hopes his older status in golf doesn't hurt his play. He is joined by Bill Haas, a five-time PGA Tour winner and returner to the CVS Caremark Charity Classic. All the excitement begins with the Pepsi Pro-Am on Sunday, June 22nd, followed by the two-day tournament on Monday, June 23rd, and Tuesday, June 24th. For ticket information, go to cvscharityclassic.com. New this year to the tournament is the Path to Better Health. The walking path around the course will feature interactive health and wellness stations from skin screenings and simple exercises to stretching and nutritional advice from area experts. Fans can participate in the fun as they follow the pros around the golf course. Not only that, but the first 1,000 guests to check in at the tournament's new Health and Wellness Expo on Monday and Tuesday will receive a pedometer to track their steps around the course. The people who take the most steps daily can enter to win special prizes during the tournament. It is a blast to get out here and watch these pros in action on the course, and of course, it's all for a great cause. Millions of dollars generated for local charities. Mike Monacalvo now has a look at one of them, the Arthritis Foundation. It's a debilitating disease that can cause pain 24-7. My junior year of high school, I actually spent more time in Hasbro Children's Hospital than I did in school because my arthritis was so bad. We've learned one in five adults and more than 300,000 children across the country live with some form of arthritis every day. Right here and right here. Children like five-year-old Ethan. Six every day and 15 on Friday. We both have problems with various joints. His mostly affects his knees and his hands and recently his back. Mine has always affected my hips and now that I'm older my back and my knees are still affected as well. Arthritis is the nation's leading cause of disability. The disease makes it very difficult for people to be physically active. Well, when I was first diagnosed I remember being at the hospital and being told that I had arthritis and I looked at them and said arthritis how can I have arthritis my grandparents don't even have arthritis. Since being diagnosed in the 70s Renee Hool has volunteered with the Arthritis Foundation to help others. Funding for research and programs is vital. Well, the CVS Charity Classic provides the funding that we need for uh, for our campus ships for our family days for our advocacy program, which is very helpful in the years to come. I received camper ships to go to camp specifically for kids with juvenile arthritis. So it was my last year of camp. I had received college scholarships and just a lot of other things with family days and things like that through the Arthritis Foundation. And it's a partnership that's better than a hole in one. We're grateful that uh, we have uh, CVS Caremark to help us uh, in our journey uh, to find a cure. Uh, without CVS and Caremark, uh, I don't know what we do. People living with arthritis have come a long way in the last two decades. While treatment used to be aspirin and bed rest, medicine has improved and patients are encouraged to stay active. I'm Mike Montecalvo. And Patrick, after seeing stories like these, it's easy to see how deserving these local charities are. Yeah, that's what it's all about. Great charities, great golf. I had a chance to speak with CVS Caremark President and CEO Larry Merlo about that winning combination. Okay, Larry, so getting ready for another uh, CVS Caremark Charity Classic, uh, 16th year, and over the first 15 years, we talk about the charity and the money raised, $17 million, and I know how proud you folks are about that number. Well, Patrick, absolutely. I mean, in, in, in many respects, it, it's humbling to think that, you know, we've raised $17 million, and, you know, you think back to the December day uh, in our corporate office where, you know, this past year, $1.3 million was given uh, to the nonprofits, and you get folks coming up to you talking about you don't know what this means this this check represents 30 40 50 percent of my operating budget for the year you know these organizations are doing wonderful things to help those less fortunate across southern new england and it's really what the charity classics all about every year uh, you come up with a new twist or a new angle throughout the three-day tournament and this year on the course uh, fans that go to check out the golf will notice this path to better health concept that you've introduced this year. Tell us more about that. Yeah, we think it's it, it's a fun and educational way to bring something new to the tournament. There'll be stations located uh, throughout the course uh, doing things like skin screenings, uh, providing nutritional advice, or you know even things about simple stretching and you know exercise routines. And actually, for the first thousand people that visit 
uh, the expo on Monday and Tuesday, they'll actually get a free pedometer to track the number of steps as they follow uh, the pros around the golf course. And those that take the most steps will be eligible uh, to win some prizes. And I think people will be surprised how much exercise they can get simply walking the golf course. And speaking of following the pros on the golf course, once again, another uh, star-studded field assembled by Brad Faxon and Billy Andrade. Talk about some of the golfers that will be coming this year. Well, Patrick, none of this is possible without... You know, Brad and Billy's efforts, and as you mentioned, another world-class field. We've got PGA players that are ranked in the top 20 and across the world. Uh, people like Jason Duffner, uh, a major champion winner. Uh, we've got Matt Kuchar, who's you see on the leaderboard almost every week, and Zach Johnson, and they'll be defending uh, the tournament uh, that they won two years ago. Then we have last year's champs, uh, Steve Stricker and Bo Van Pelt. You know, we've got some terrific players from the LPGA Tour. Lexi Thompson, who just won uh, the Kraft Nabisco Championship, the ladies' uh, first major of the year, along with Julie Inkster, the uh, Solheim Cup captain. So, you know, we're looking forward to another just terrific field, and, and I know our fans will see some great golf. All right. Thank you, Larry. Looking forward to it as well. We'll see you out on the course. Stick around. There's much more to come on the CVS Caremark Charity Classic Preview Show. We're going to take a closer look at one of the benefiting charities that's helping Rhode Islanders serve their state. Plus a new program that lets you directly help your favorite charity partner raise money. And later, I sit down with hometown favorite and tournament co-host Brad Faxon about this year's impressive field of players. More now in the CVS Caremark Charity Classic Preview Show. Back now to the CVS Caremark Charity Classic Preview Show with a look at more of the exciting new additions to this year's tournament. This year, fans can help their favorite CVS Caremark Charity Classic charity partner raise additional dollars by participating in the Tickets for Charity program. The new program will donate $5 for every ticket purchase on CVSCharityClassic.com directly to the charity of your choice. Simply log on to CVSCharityClassic.com, click the tickets icon, and select your favorite charity before completing the ticket purchase process. You can even make an additional personal donation to your selected charity. And we, of course, Patrick, all love the golf, but it's these local organizations. That's what this Charity Classic is all about. That's right, Yanni. I had a chance to check out Serve Rhode Island. And it's really pretty good. Bernie Boudreau is the executive director of Serve Rhode Island, the state's center for volunteerism and national service. The organization's mission is to, quote, transform the lives of Rhode Islanders by increasing the number of people engaged in volunteer and service activities in their communities. And here we go, CVS Caremark. And this tournament helps Serve Rhode Island complete that mission. We have boxes of hammers. The funds that have gone to Serve Rhode Island has really made a tremendous impact because we mobilize volunteers who work in hundreds of nonprofits. We do disaster response work, like after Hurricane Sandy. Those volunteers really, you know, make a tremendous difference and they, they help people throughout the state. It's a very important resource for this state and CVS um, Charity Classic is, is responsible for keeping us viable as an organization. We invent some of our own tools. Serve Rhode Island connects people who want to volunteer with organizations that need them, whether it's cleaning up a state park, providing disaster relief after a storm or a natural disaster, or helping kids in schools. The most profound example uh, to me is when we have volunteers in the schools that are working with young kids who are falling behind. It brings that child back from failure. It's a great celebration of, of, of goodness, you know, and, and, and fun. There's been no other partner uh, like CVS Caremark, so we are grateful. Serve Rhode Island has more than 4,000 active volunteers with service connections to organizations across the area. And still to come on the CVS Caremark Charity Classic Preview Show, hear from the co-host behind the Classic, We're catching up with golfer Brad Faxon about this year's exciting event. Plus, it's back to school as we learn about one of the benefiting charities that's working to keep local kids in the classroom. More now in the CVS Caremark Charity Classic Preview Show. Yanni, it seems like each year is more impressive than the last. Absolutely, and I got to catch up with tournament co-host Brad Faxon to talk about another terrific field returning to the Ocean State. Brad, thanks so much for joining us. The tournament now in its 16th year. Does it surprise you how well this tournament has sustained its excellence over the years? It's, it's really unbelievable, Yanni. You know, when Billy and I first kind of got the idea that we could do this with CVS. 
you never thought it could last 16 years and it just seems like every year things work out perfectly that you know there's still enough energy there's still charitable dollars raised you know and Larry Merlot who's continued on from Tom Ryan is really uh, really wants to keep this alive and going. Now let's talk about the field another loaded field Steve Stricker and Bo Van Pelt back to um, defend their crown a record at 25 under last year and they'll have some stiff competition. Oh, it's unbelievable. You know, Stricker's one of the best players in the world and, and now he's almost a part-time golfer. He's, he's really, he likes to be with his family, he likes to hunt and fish a lot. We played with him the first round and, and he and Bo Van Pelt put on a clinic. I mean, right. 25 under par, you think about that. They only played 36 holes, so that, that means they only didn't birdie 11 holes. Uh, I don't think anybody ever touched that record. What went into this field when you guys were comprising it and courting the golfers? Well, you know, Billy and I really try and get a good blend of the top players in the world, right. you know, that are exciting to watch, that are up and comers as well. You know, we, ha we want to have some of the best women players in the world. And, you know, Matt Kuchar and Zach Johnson won the tournament two years ago. Uh, Kuchar's been on the leaderboard every week this year. And Zach Johnson's won a couple times, and, and they're both living together. And the great story is, Matt Kuchar's dad, Peter, is going to caddy for him, and when Zach found that out, he called his dad, so both their dads are caddying for him in the tournament. How much are you talking to these guys throughout the year, putting a little bird in their ear that, hey, don't forget about our tournament in Rhode Island every June? It's incredible. It's, it's totally a year-round process now. It's become, you know, an extremely popular event to play. Guys love playing together with their friends. And for you personally, how is your golf game going into this tournament? Would you like maybe to hold, hoist the trophy, hand it to yourself, and win this thing this year? Well, I would love to win this tournament. <laughs> Obviously, it's, it's uh, not the most important thing for me right. this week. But uh, I'm playing with Eric Compton. Eric Compton's a younger player who's been more uh, noticed for he's the only recipient of two heart transplants. Uh, still a young kid, another Georgia product. And um, I finished second in this thing five times with five different players. So um, I know there's so many good players here. You never know what's going to happen in this event. But uh, all of us are competitive. Every single player out here wants to come down on the last hole with a chance to win the tournament. All right. Brad, thanks so much for joining us. Much My appreciated. Pleasure, Johnny. Thank you very much. If you're planning to check out the tournament, some things you should know. You cannot park here at the golf course. Public parking is at Seekonk Speedway on Route 6, where a shuttle will take you to the course. And this year, the tournament is honoring veterans and first responders with free admission. Simply show your valid ID at the gate. As always, children under 17 are admitted free with a ticketed adult. For full details, go to cbscharityclassic.com. And as we've been telling you, the charities supported by the CVS Caremark Charity Classic help thousands of those in need in southern New England. That's right. One of those charities is City Year, and they help keep kids in school. Danielle North has more now on their mission. Nestled inside the classrooms in four capital city schools. Yep, exactly. There are specially trained City Year workers helping to create success stories. The first two stanzas to me out loud. Every day. So that's how you would paraphrase that. I really need help with my English, so this city year named Ebony helped me. Mako is a seventh grader at the DeSesto Middle School, and he isn't the only one who calls his city year mentor by their first name. Did you sign up for the math relay? The workers and the students forge friendships through their teaching. And he's very vulnerable. And they're motivating. They do like special games. Sometimes they'll give out prizes if you if you like get all the answers right. The magic of the program is making learning more fun. Intervention time this week. The mission of City Year a little more concrete. We've really come to be fully focused in the education space and partnering with schools in a deep and meaningful way. In its eight years in Providence, the City Year workers have literally helped to turn students' lives around, bringing those who may have fallen through the cracks to get re-engaged in their education. But they can't do it alone. It's important that we have outside contributors like CVS Caremark Charity Classic. It helps us perform better in the classrooms and it's really admirable that other companies like CVS recognizes the work that we're doing in schools. And school teachers are seeing tangible results, especially with literacy rates. One of our kids today, the .5, um, just tested at 
at uh, 500 plus points, which means he's now reading at the fifth grade level, and we did it in a year. It is really meaningful for me personally when I see a core member interact with a student, when I look at data or when I hear a story that they have helped a student go from an F to a B. And City Year organizers continue to set very ambitious goals. Their strategy now to try to ensure that 80% of the students in the schools they serve are on track to graduate. I'm Danielle North. And it's always great to get a closer look at some of these charity partners. And here's yet another way that local charities benefit. The Closest to the Pin contest is back. Each pro golfer is paired with a nonprofit. The pro who shoots closest to the pin wins $25,000 for that charity. And back for its second year is the All Kids Can Three Hole Challenge. It's designed to offer kids of all abilities a chance to participate and experience golf like the pros. Five foursomes from a variety of the tournament's charity partners will participate in the fun activity on holes 16 through 18. Stay with us. The CBS Caremark Charity Classic Preview Show continues in just moments. We'll give you an exclusive behind-the-scenes look at what it takes to get ready for the big event. Welcome back to the CVS Caremark Charity Classic Preview Show. The tournament now just a couple of days away, and as always, the course is in great condition. But still, it takes a whole lot of work to get this place ready for the tournament. <laughs> Behind the scenes, crews have been working for weeks, from building structures like concession stands and scoreboards, to tents and flooring to accommodate the thousands of fans who will enjoy the tournament. It's incredible to see the transformation, all the tents, flowers. Even fencing are brought in and taken away every year, taking thousands of hours to set up and then tear it down once it's over. And that's not to mention our setup. We have our own set here to bring you live coverage and interviews throughout the Classic. It's going to be a great event, and it all kicks off with the Pepsi Pro-Am on Sunday, June 22nd. Then for the two-day tournament on the 23rd and 24th, we'll bring you more special shows. The CBS Caremark Charity Classic Wrap at 7 here on WPRI 12. Each night we'll have highlights, player interviews, and more stories from the course. We'll also have full coverage on WPRI.com. You can meet the field with bios of all the players, see the course with our exclusive interactive map, and flyover video of Rhode Island Country Club. Look at photo galleries with candid shots from the tournament, and be sure to check our online leaderboard for real-time scoring. And as always, we'll bring you complete coverage on Eyewitness News. Thanks for joining us tonight. We'll see you back here for the Classic.